What's going on? Firstly, Happy New Year to each and every single one of you, whether you are brand new to the channel or whether you are a returning subscriber. So today, I'm actually here to talk about a complete non-spoiler review of the latest season of Cobra Kai, which is Cobra Kai Season 4. Now, this definitely does take straight after the events of Season 4. Three. So let's get straight onto it. So season four takes place right after the events of season three, where we have that confrontation at the Cobra Kai dojo with Chris, Daniel Russo, Johnny Lawrence, and also Robbie Keane, where they kind of make a wager and say, okay, well, the All Valley tournament is coming up in several months' time. Whoever wins the tournament, that other dojo has to kind of leave the valley. So straight away, we've got some big high stakes, and probably the highest stakes we've ever had for an All Valley tournament. So we've got all of our regular cast in here. We've also got some turning cast as well which i'm not going to ruin for you overall what is my thoughts of season four of cobra kai well there was a lot of hype surrounding this i think especially because season three probably was in my opinion the best season that they made of cobra kai so a lot of people are really reeling of the success of that and the difference that season three brought to the everlasting franchise of Cobra Kai and the Karate Kid and then they developed season four so it already has that expectations I actually really enjoyed the series however season three is definitely my favorite thus far so this season has a lot going for it it also has a couple of negatives going against it so what i would say in terms of my positives is i appreciate a lot of the storylines and definitely a more lot more character development going into this because if you remember at the end of season three hawk finally turned back to being a good guy and he's now joined the miyagi eagle fang karate as such so it's kind of really developing his relationship with his former friends who he's betrayed are they just going to forgive him straight away or are they not because you've got to kind of filter that in to the storyline so we get a lot of different storylines for him we also learn a lot more about Tori who actually was rooting a lot more for this season as well we learn more about Sam Miguel also touches on the fact that he doesn't know who his dad is he's kind of conflicted about that also Johnny and Carmen are dating of course Miguel's mom so how do they break the news to him that they're actually dating and also you've got Daniel LaRusso's household with him and Samantha being kind of tormented by a kind of past demons and everything that she's been through thus far yeah there's just so much stuff going on in this season it's kind of hard to break down in a non-spoiler review but what i'm going to say is that the story arcs for these characters a lot of them i actually was invested in especially with hawk i definitely think he is generally an underrated character in the cobra kai universe and i'm really glad that they got time to showcase him as a character and develop him a lot more as well i felt like they've done a great job of him thus far and this season in particular is really great about his kind of redemption story and how is he going to come back from being in cobra kai up until now where he's kind of switched sides and kind of realized well actually cobra kai wasn't the best choice that he ever made so there's definitely some great story arcs and the old valley tournament itself kind of spans for one full episode as such and also kind of maybe about 15 minutes of episodes 9 and 10 just as a heads up the old valley tournament was covered pretty good overall there's some great fights in there and some fights i didn't expect to even see they definitely deliver on some of the knockout punches and kicks it was really developed great it was written pretty good when we get to the tournament and of course the chemistry between William Zabka and Ralph Macchio is there on screen and it's there to be chewed up at you know you really want to see these two get along and this is what the season is kind of developing on because them two are going to work together to go against John Kreese and of course a returning which was teased at the end of the last season Terry Silver so who is ultimately going to win is Cobra Kai going to take the valley or is Miyagi Eagle Fang going to take the valley we really don't know and we also get a couple of new introduced in, into characters we also get a character called devon and we get a character called kenny i felt like they were written into the show really really good it definitely made a lot more sense especially with kenny's character as he is a brother of a past cobra kai character again which i'm not going to mention but yeah his character was actually really really good and you felt for his character the entire season despite whatever happens why i want to say in terms of like any negatives that i have and why i don't feel it's as good as season four is i felt like some of it was a little bit rushed especially when it gets to near the all valley tournament that kind of feels as if like some x y and z happening just as an example then all of a sudden it cuts and then the tournament's there but there was kind of like no bill being like right well tomorrow he's the all valley tournament get ready for the 51st annual there was kind of none of that really it was just cut all of a sudden so it kind of felt as if there was like an episode or like a chunk of footage removed to build that up 
to being like, right, the next scene, you're going to get the All Valley Tournament, which I think a lot of people expected episodes 9 and 10, it was going to get to that point. And yeah, I just didn't really like the build-up of that. And they also have a celebrity singer in this All Valley Tournament section. Now, the celebrity singer, I appreciate because I love that genre of music. I actually like them as an artist. So to have them show up, I was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. But it didn't fit the All Valley theme whatsoever especially with the 80s callback that i had and especially with the last scene i had like d snyder that fit in respectively with johnny's personality and it definitely fit the tone of like this 80s vibe i personally didn't really think that it fit especially with like the montage scenes and stuff that we get it really did was a great choice i wouldn't be surprised if netflix has maybe signed this artist to like a documentary or something about their life or like a live performance or something and that's why they showed up in this season. I just don't think it's ever been referenced in any Cobra Kai or Karate Kid movie before about this artist. And then they had them in there. It just felt completely out of place. And at times in this season, the pace definitely slowed down. Now, I understand it did slow down for a purpose. And at the end of the day, the purpose overall made sense in the bigger picture of things. But unfortunately, the pacing did slow down a little too much where it really had like a really kick to the arse right at the beginning of the season or like the way the fist was right at the beginning of the season really kicking off in the first three or four episodes and you were like okay wow this is going to be an explosive season and then they calm it down a little bit and then they try build it back up at the end and i just felt like some of the pacing was a little bit off but overall what i am going to say is i highly do recommend this season and i can't wait to talk spoilers about it which if you're watching this video today the spoiler will be live tonight on my channel at 8 p.m uk time but if you're watching this video at a different time i've got a spoiler discussion on the channel as well you can check out but my overall rating for cobra kai season four is so yeah, if you've seen the season yourself, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought or if you're excited to see it. Also, leave your comments as well. What I am going to say is I'm excited to see season five and where they're going to go with this universe and how they're going to expand on this. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And I honestly hope that everyone has a fantastic 2022. I hope this year is really great for you. And whatever goals that you have, set out those goals, whether they're small or whether they're big, an accomplishment and don't let anyone stop you from achieving those goals. But until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.